Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3 here, back to the kicking. That's right, kicking! <laughs> Action figure of you. Today we have Anguirus here from Bandai America. Apparently Bandai America doesn't care about six inches anymore. Well, I don't think they can make six inches anymore because of Playmates. But we still get these, and these are kind of neat. Uh, I picked up this Anguirus simply because they don't make a lot of Anguirus figures. I wish it wasn't Final Wars Anguirus, but still. Here's the packaging. You got, like, the images of Anguirus. Godzilla 65, so it's from 2019. There's Anguirus on the top. Here's some other figures. The Kiru is a re-release. I already have it from 2014. I really wanted this Shin Godzilla, but they didn't have it. I didn't pick up this Bio Goji because I figured I'll get the NECA at some point. They did have Godzilla 2017. Once again, that's a re-release. I did pick up Shin. I really wanted that Hedorah, though. Um, I really wanted this one, too. That's a re-release. Got it. They didn't have it. I didn't get it. Bottom. Uh, legal info. Anguirus. So let's pop. Get it? This thing open. And here he is out of package. The Bandai America Anguirus. Uh, he's actually a neat little figure. I really enjoy him. There's some assembly required. you got to pop the tail in, but it's really no big deal. The plastic's pretty soft, so it's easy. Uh, once again, I wish this was a Showa Anguirus, but they only want to give us Final Wars Anguirus these days. I guess just because he's the most recent. We need a more recent Anguirus so we can stop getting Final Wars. I already have two six inches. One's a exclusive red one, but... I mean, still, this is actually a pretty good figure. I like the gold in the eyes. That's actually pretty cool. And it's sculpted very well for a figure of this scale. The paint is wonky, though. Like, you see where the carapace paint gets on the belly and on the neck? That's a glaring mistake. That's really bad. Like, that's huge bad. Wow, at least like it's consistent on both sides, but it's still wrong. Very wrong. The nails are painted well and the leg spines are painted well. The head spines could use a little more paint, but... Jeez, I mean, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh well, articulation forward and back on the front legs. Forward and back on the back legs. And the rotation in the tail. No accessories, obviously. So now let's do some size comparisons for Lil Anguirus. First up, let's compare him to some other figures in his scale. Uh, there's the Shin Godzilla from the same line. I think they work well together. And just to show you something else that Bandai America did, here's the Pack of Destruction Gigan, who is too small. Luckily, I have several Godzillas in this scale, including the ones that came out for the 2014 movie, and uh, they can go well with them. They're just boxed up right now, so I don't have access to them. But, if we move these guys out of the way, we can show you some other stuff, like this movie monster series Gamera, who just absolutely towers over him. I figured I need to show you 6-inch, since that's what's normally collected. There's a NECA Atomic Breath 2001. Big stuff, but, you know, all's well that sins well. So, what are my final thoughts on this small Bandai America... Ooh? Small Bandai America Anguirus? He's not a bad little figure. I mean, for the price, he's okay. I think adult collectors will like it. I think kids will like it. But that paint's terrible. The paint running off the carapace is absolutely terrible. Like, it's horrific. But that's really my only problem with this guy. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all next time.